Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have a double Z fold card for you guys. This is a birthday card. Um, I saw one of these on Pinterest and I was just like, oh, I want to try that. I haven't done one of those like that in a while. Um, so I wanted to showcase the beautiful um, designer series paper, the butterfly designer series paper in our celebration catalog. And then I turned this into um, a birthday card. So let me go ahead and show you how I created this. So you have a card base of basic black. This is eight and a half by five and a half. We are going to score this with our trimmer or your scoreboard at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. Okay, and then while I have this out, I'm gonna score my other piece as well. So I have a piece of Highland Heather here. This is six and a half by three and three quarters, and we are going to score that at two and an eighth and four and a quarter as well. Okay. All right, and then for some more pieces, we are going to be using some more designer series paper. So this is, again, from the Butterfly Designer Series paper. This is four by five and a quarter, and this is two by five and a quarter. And then for our Z here, I have two pieces. Again, the same paper, just flipped over. Um, these are two by three and a half. And then I have another piece that is one and seven eighths by three and a half. And then we also are going, I've punched out a couple butterflies. So one of the sheets of paper in the designer series paper is this, it's black and white. And then green on the other side. This coordinates perfectly with our punch. Um, so I'm able to take the larger butterflies as well as the little butterflies. So the little butterflies I left over there um, is this small piece that is also black and white on the reverse side and that will fit perfectly for this punch. So this is so fun and quick and easy but just a beautiful way to display and highlight the paper. So let's go ahead and lay down our designer series paper. And I love that the black here just makes it really pop. Hopefully, let me pull this a little closer to myself. Oops. See, I hope I didn't drop. I don't think I dropped it. No, that's better. Okay. All right. So let me score this way first, or burnish rather. It's already scored, and then we will flip this back. We'll burnish that nice there as well. I'll go on this side too. Okay, so now we can bring in our other piece. Let's go ahead and adhere these down. I'm going to stamp while this is flat as well. So make sure I'm lined up with my other paper. That looks good. All right, let me see here. For our stamp set, um, I am using the Picture Perfect Birthday. This is one of my favorite birthday sets from our annual catalog. So this sentiment here is perfect for the center, and then on our tag we're going to use this sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Memento Black, and we will do our inside sentiment first. 
I'm going to bring this a little closer to me. And I'll do that right in the middle. Perfect. Okay, and then I have a scrap here of Whisper White. We are going to do our front sentiment in the black. I forgot to change my blocks. I was had multiple projects going, so I had every block used for some other videos. All right. Oops. Okay, and then we are going to bring in our everyday label punch, and we will punch our sentiment here. All right, and then now we can go ahead, we're going to burnish this, and then we're going to burnish this one this way. And so what I like to do is kind of set it inside my my card. Did I score that wrong? Maybe I did. My other one, yeah, covered up. So you can see here, let me show you this. See, accidents happen on videos. So you can see here my purple is lined up perfectly, and here you can see it's coming out a bit. So I must have misscored um, myself. So we're going to go ahead and lay this down so we can complete our video. I'm going to add... I know the, the dimensions that I gave you were, were correct. So maybe I didn't double check my sheet of paper I don't that I had pre-cut. Alright, so I'm going to lay that down there. I'm going to flip this over. And then I'm going to just close this like that. And so you can see here already my double Z. All right, now this, we're going to take our fast fuse. And we're going to use this right in our center. Just like that. And then I have my two butterflies here that we've punched. I have my Highland Heather and my Balmy Blue. I'm going to start with the light colors of both. And we're going to color in our butterfly. And then if you want to do a little bit of shading or darkening things up. I like to kind of go around the edges, maybe a little in the center. Just like that. And you can of course come back and blend <clears throat> that a little bit better. I'm going to take a glue dot and we're going to put those on the back of our butterflies. And what I love, you know, is you can give it some dimension by bending those. I'm going to send that one that way. And then I punched a bunch of small butterflies out of that paper. I think let's use a yellow one just to bring in another color. So we'll put a glue dot on this one as well. And we'll just add that here to the bottom. Isn't that fun? So that is our double Z card. And I just love it. I think it's a beautiful way to showcase um, the designer series paper and some of the punched images. So I could do this with lots of different bundles and I love it. Very simple to do. Um, hopefully you guys will try this out. You will be able to find the full supply list um, in the description of my video. And I look forward to being back with you real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.